You just asked me what my favourites were. Yeah, I'm and just... And now you're, dispu- I'm just, now you're saying I don't, that you I, don't I, agree. Well, no, I'm not asking yeah, you Yeah, well, I'm criticising your taste in desserts, that's all. Hello everybody and welcome to another video and if you found us by searching for buffets in Las Vegas I'm sure there's a thousand to choose from. So here's another one. We are doing the Bacchanal versus Ace, A-Y-C-E, all you can eat, which is recently opened at Palms. Well it's not recently opened, it's been there years but you know. At Palms. <laughs> Just before we get into today's video, it's come to my attention that less than 10% of viewers are actually subscribed to our channel. We would love it if you could just do three things. One, if you're not subscribed already, please subscribe to the channel. Set your notification bells, hit the like button. Hit it right now. If you don't like it by the end of the video, you can untick the like button. Yeah, because that doesn't sound needy. Well, it's much better than yours, darling, you know it. We're gonna do a bit of a face-off. I'm gonna say a value buffet versus a premium buffet. Mm, um, yeah. with pricing to match. So stick around to the end to find out how much they cost. So, the Bacchanal at Caesars Palace. Glenn, would you say the Bacchanal is the most famous buffet in the Hall of Las Vegas? No, I think I would. The Bacchanal is very famous. It's been around for a really long time at Caesars Palace. Um, it's a very upmarket venue. It's close to the main casino and pool area. So if you're staying in Caesars, it's kind of like at the epicenter of all the major places that you're going to be visiting while you're there. But they recently refurbished it. Well, I say recently, pre-COVID. But they, um, I think they're gearing it more towards seafood. Did feel that way. It, it, it was very sort of seafood heavy. The queues to get to the seafood were pretty... Long. I mean, they do move quickly, but they are long. Everyone goes for the crab's legs. So the Ace is at the Palms, which is not on the Strip. So if you're staying on the Strip, you're looking at around the $20 Uber fee for a round trip. The positioning of the actual buffet inside of the Palms is right on the main casino floor. You can't miss it. And if- You can't miss the queue. You can't miss the queue. I've never seen queues like it. The Bacchanal then. In, in your opinion, the Bacchanal, how would you describe the atmosphere there? Uh, Caesar's back and out. It's very large, very busy, very loud. So there's a lot going on. I think if you want a nice, quiet dinner, you're not going to go to the back and out. You will have a lot of people running around you at any one time, so it doesn't feel like calming at all. But saying that, the lines move very quickly, I think. Mm. Do you know what it reminded me of? Um, a buffet, like a theme park. You know, we've got lots of kids running around and it's just just completely hectic. But I say that as if it's a negative thing, but it's got a really good energy about it, I have to say. Ace, on the other hand, um, very different. We did have to queue for a while to get in and the lines were long, but when you got inside, it didn't feel overcrowded. They tell you on your receipt that you have 90 minutes to spend in the um, or you can eat buffet at Palms. I think because of the way that they time it, and I think the reason that those lines are so long is to control the amount of foot traffic within the buffet area, so it never felt crowded at all. And I never felt like I, you know, had to fight my way for a, for a piece of meat. Um, <laughs> speaking of a piece of meat, let's talk about the food of the Bacchanal. Well, what can I say? There is so much choice at that buffet, it's incredible. All you can eat crab legs, lobster claws, shrimp, whelks. I mean, where I've never seen whelks on a buffet anywhere before. Um, just crazy amounts of seafood. Um, different types of meat, I think there were three or four different type, cuts of beef, um, hams, Asian cuisine, Mexican, there was some European mm. uh, food stations, Italian, etc. And the biggest dessert area I've ever seen in any buffet. I mean, really, the, the choices it were was. just incredible. The, we didn't even take probably 20% of, of the dessert options, and yet both of our plates were full. Mm. So I think overall, the, the food was fantastic. The trick with a buffet is that you have to like not overload your plate every time because you want to try a bit of everything and I fell at the first hurdle. My first plate was piled very high uh, and it was all Asian food and the Korean chicken was just amazing. Okay, so let's talk about the food and drink at Ace. 
probably about half the choice, I would say. Yeah. Um, not that that's a bad thing, though, because what they did have, uh, I have to say, really surprised us both. We'd seen a couple of other YouTube videos that had been shot at the Ace Buffet, but we're kind of 50-50. Um, we gave it a shot. Um, I was so glad we did. The quality... Yeah of the food was fantastic. In fact, I have to say the shrimp at Ace beat the shrimp at Bacchanal. Hands down. Really good. So the choice bucket, isn't there, with but... The, with the Bacchanal being, a, being famous for its seafood, yeah, and, and yet it, it got completely um, it got completely slapped by um, Ace's, Ace's prawns. Absolutely. But again, another point that we really loved and going for the weekend brunch, you had unlimited champagne and Bucks Fizz as well as all the regular soft drinks. Or as which, people outside the UK would call it, mimosas. And they weren't shy coming around and refilling your glass. Yeah, and it, the champagne was pretty good champagne as well. I mean, I've had bad Prosecco and um, yeah, it was good champagne. That was getting me thinking, when it comes to a buffet, and, and let me know in the comments below because I'd be interested to hear your opinions. Do you think, when it comes to a buffet, what's more important, food quality or the volume of choices? So would you Do write, I have to have one? It's a case of, if you would you rather have a lot more choice, but lower quality, or fewer choices, but a much higher quality? That one. Let's talk about the best dishes that, in our opinion, uh, at each of these buffets. So, um, at the Bacchanal, what would you say was your favourite dish? Stand out for me, well, not a single dish, it's the desserts. Yeah, the but what was the favourite dessert? What was your favourite dessert I, I, of the desserts? Oh, I, I the loved the panna cotta, I loved oh. the tiramisu, I had I creme brulee ice cream. That, I hated that panna cotta. I don't know. It was so tart. It was too tart. Ah, and it was full of seeds. It had seeds. He doesn't eat seeds. It has, I love seeds. It has, oh my gosh. It was no, not good. Well, I enjoyed that. And it, it, it was raspberry panna cotta though. You just asked me what my favourites were. Yeah, I'm and just... And now you're disputing. Now just, you're saying I don't, you I, don't agree. Well, no, I'm not asking you Yeah, well, I'm criticising your taste in desserts. That's all. Okay. Desserts. Okay. No, the best thing at the what barbecue, was yours at the favourite at the back of the The best dish was the was the brisket. It'd been smoked for fourteen mm. hours. It was absolutely just sensational. It just falls apart. You can eat it with a spoon, and and when you put it in your mouth, it literally just melted. It was right up there. The prime rib was also very very good. Oh, and the truffle chicken. Okay, but we'll go with the brisket. But the truffle chicken was also right up there. And uh, what about our Ace? Uh, the shrimp. I think the shrimp were, was really top quality. Mm. Do you know, I'm going to be highly controversial here and say the best thing for me at Ace was the pizza. What? <laughs> it was the pizza. And pizza on a buffet is... Who normally... eats pizza at a buffet? I do. Who doesn't like pizza? I mean, it's, no good, it's not as good as secret pizza at, at the Cosmopolitan, but it's definitely up there as a very, very good pizza. And um, do you know what it was? It was the cheese on the pizza. It was a really strong flavour. And um, that, yeah, I went back, I, I rarely, I, sometimes I just have a little bit of pizza, but I went back and had seconds. So how much did we pay? How much did we pay? Mm. So at the Bacchanal, we had the weekday dinner, mm -hmm. uh, which was 79.99 plus tax and tip. And I don't know, would you say that felt like good value? Um, no. No. Paying nearly $100 per person for, is a lot of money for a buffet. I don't really care how many f crab's legs you've got on display. It's a lot of money. I think if it was more around like the $65 mark, I would have felt a little bit like, go to the Bacchanal, pay the extra. It's absolutely worth it. So at Palms, at Ace, we had the weekend brunch. So it was $32.99, but for comparison, if the dinner was $36.99. So we're looking at half price essentially better than half price with um obviously plus tax and if you go on the brunch you get the champagne Ex included and that's price, probably uh, why the queue was also out the door when yeah. we when we got there because uh, the, the word is around that you're yeah. getting free champagne you can see the value at the ace brunch i struggle to see the value with back and up even though it's a great option mm -hmm. and if you want to go to the biggest you know most famous buffet in vegas it's got to go to the back and out but I, I've struggled to see the value. If, the if, cost. Okay, I've got one more final question for you. So would you prefer to go to a sit-down dinner where you would spend $150, which, a lot, which is not, which is common, sorry, in Vegas? 
probably the Bacchanal. Yeah. So, I mean, when you, it, it depends what you're comparing it to. That's where this, this it all becomes very subjective. Um, I'm going to say that for me, I like a sit down dinner and I would be happy to pay the extra. Okay, so would I, so would we go back to either of these? Yes, if I could only go back to one, which would it be? Ace. And the reason he's done it so quickly like that is because I was rambling and it's all been cut out of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, don't forget to like the video if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe. Look forward to seeing you on the next one. Make sure you're subscribed. I've said that already. Say goodbye, Glenn. Goodbye, Glenn. Take care. Bye now.